pumping a tire up. Ah, uh, here's a bookshop. Da, da, da. Astral Art Studio and Bookshop. Hiya. Can I come in and film a bit? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Nice friendly lady. Oh, look, this is nice. Nice artwork. Ouch. My glide cam's starting to wobble. Uh, this is a Japanese inspired thing, is it? dropping off. Uh, here we go. Not just jams. Number eight. Oh, homemade jam. Homemade jam. Is it okay to film? It's a long story. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> Buddha Boutique. Are they open? Um, and here's Sergeant Bilko's um, Emporium. So I was talking to the guy earlier on. Uh, hi Steve, I'm back. Hi Chris, <laughs> how are you doing? Alright, so this is uh, Steve's shop. So this is the front shop. And um, lots of uh, Star Wars stuff, yeah, and um, various things. But uh, the star attraction is round the back, and it's uh, Sergeant Bilko's Museum. And uh, oh, there's Aldrey Hepburn, look, yeah, looking gorgeous as ever. And um, yeah, so here's a shrine to Sergeant Bilko. So you're a big fan of Sergeant I am Bilko, indeed, Chris. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. I've been doing it for 33 years now, so yeah, uh, it's a passion that's sort of never left us, and we've got the full cooperation of Phil Silver's family. So his former wife and his five daughters have all kindly donated items to go into the museum. So we've got very rare items like Phil's jackets, uh, his driving license, a pair of his glasses. Um, his uh, waistcoat and his smoking jacket. So there's, yeah, there's a lot of a... stuff to see in a very uh, confined space, but uh, yeah. we get lots of happy visitors. So we'll pan round and see all that stuff. So here's a jacket. Yeah, so lots of memorabilia here. Pictures of him. Yeah. Phil Silvers. Yeah. 20th Century Fox, Phil Silvers. Oh, that's, um, that's, the, that's the label that's inside this jacket. Yeah. This was a screen test jacket for a 1944 film called Something for the Boys with Carmen Miranda. And that Lovely was, jacket, uh, isn't it? A yeah. beautiful, beautiful jacket, yes. So, posters. And, um, yeah. Is, was, that, um, a, was that uniform? Was that his? That's, a, that's that? a, just a mock-up of, uh, of a uniform. It wasn't Phil's uniform. Yeah. Uh, we, have, uh, we will have, I think, one of Phil's Bilko shirts in shortly. They, yeah. belong, they belong to the girls uh, yeah. in, in the States. We've got a lot of rare Bilko uh, memorabilia. So, so here's, yeah, here's so his the, glasses. The Phil Silver's gold brick there, that was given to the cast and crew when the show finished. So that's quite rare. That was given to us by Mickey Freeman, who played 
Private Zimmerman and the gold statuette you see on the other side of the cabinet. That was given to the cast and crew when the show went into syndication in the early 1960s. And here's a nice poster, yeah, nice picture. That is one of 15 prints done by a. Do you sell, American... you sell those, do you? We, we don't sell them, no. no. They belong to an artist called Drew Friedman over in the States, and he gave us the first copy. So oh, one right. of 15 copies worldwide. Yeah. So we do sell mugs, we do sell t-shirts, we do sell the DVD box set uh, and coasters. So we do a little bit of Bilco memorabilia for people to take away. And we do get lots of visitors. The most so famous here. being Phil Jupiter and Danny Baker. So there we go, a shrine to Bilco. So, yeah, so come and support the museum and buy, um, here we go. Here's a box set of all the DVDs. Every, Are they all on there? Every single episode, Chris. Every uh, episode. Lots of extras, uh, subtitled and all remastered as well. All yeah. done by ourselves with the help of uh, Medium Rare Entertainment. And they're £45 pounds for a box For £45. Pounds. £45, pounds and that supports the museum. For the box set. So there we go. Come and support the museum by the box set. Okay, there's his shoes, look. There's Phil, there's, uh, Phil Silver's shoes. Nice shoes, actually. He was, uh, very, he was a very dapper, well-dressed gentleman. Eh? As they all were back in the 40s yeah. and 50s. Very well-dressed. All right, so I think that's that. So that's a nice picture there. That's um, old what's-her-name, isn't it? Um, yeah. Yes. Local artist. Looking a bit great. slimmer than she is yeah, in real life. Yeah. Says the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, see you later. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> and uh, this is Sean's emporium here. I was talking to him earlier. Oh, look, there's a, is that a, a trumpet. Yeah, nice one, yeah. So all kinds of stuff in here, and oh, this is pewter. This is pewter here, is it? Yeah. I might have a look at that when I stop filming. Might be Sheffield plate, which is very valuable, by the way. So. I guess you'd know if it was. Yeah. So here's some jewellery. Yeah. Oh, so here's Sean, the owner. Me, and here's a cup of tea. <laughs> and this is interesting here. Yeah. Are those. What, what's, what are those? Are they silver? They're Scottish plate. Scottish An plate. An unusual one. Nobody can make the mark out at all. All right, it's, okay. Uh, I'll come and have a look at all that stuff in a minute. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, lovely glasses here. Look at these. Bohemian, I think, yeah? Nice writing set. Art Deco. Yeah, nice. Box. So I think that's just about it. What have we missed? Have we missed anything? Uh, oh, we haven't done these container shops. Let's, let's walk along here. So lovely smell in here. We've got uh, wax candles, handmade wax candles. Yeah, smells beautiful in here. And uh, bath soap thingies. And 
that's another uh, mural. And here's another junk shop in here. All kinds of stuff in here. Got combat jackets. Stacy Shabby Shack. Shabby Sheet Restoration. Flower barn. Here's a lovely florist here. Hiya. She's smiling, so I don't think she minds me filming. Do you mind me filming? A bit late. No. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Smells lovely. Thank you. Oh yeah, look. Lovely flowers in here. Here's a record shop. Final records. It's, um, yeah, this is bits and bobs. These are my favourite pens in the whole wide world. So if you lose them, Here's a crystal shop. That's lovely shop. crystals here. Right, so you take. Oh no, that permanent markers. I don't think you better have those. Stop us, can you mum be the same? Olivia. Yeah. Not too bad, please. And um, yeah, is this what he cuts the crystals up with? I guess so. That's for cutting wood, mate, not crystals. Some cabinets for the crystals to go in. Oh, he's making some cabinets but, for the but crystals to go in. But it does have in. a crystal cutting disc for it. Oh, right, okay. Design, print, and copying solutions in here. Looks interesting in there. Oh yeah, they got do embroidery, do they? Yeah, yeah, embroidery in there. So vinyl sign making, all kinds of stuff. And here's the Buddha boutique as well. Uh, I think it's uh, yeah, it's Indian kind kind of stuff. That's quite nice, actually. Yeah, typical Indian craft, that is, yeah. Where is it? Yeah, I'm filming myself. Yeah, typical Indian stuff. Nice cushions, yeah. Yeah, very nice cushions. Beautiful. And here's their mural outside the shop. And here's Bilko again. Here's the Bilko Museum. I'm doing clearing actually, yeah. And here's Picker Pits. This is Sean yeah, again. So I think that's about it for today. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to stop filming now. So last look at um, the Fargo village, so just the last look and flying around, so there we go. So.